Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, May 10th, 2022 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Let's start today with a diary by Xavier about a new incarnation of the octopus backdoor that uh, he found. Now, in this case, it's delivered again as a Word document. The Word document itself appears to include PDFs as embedded documents, but it's actually not PDFs. It just uses the PDF extension and logo. It's actually a good old batch file that is then executed by clicking on it. And Xavier does a good job going through the obfuscation and how to sort of decode it. Well, in the end, you end up with the Octopus backdoor. It luckily still connects to a well-known host name hpsj.firewall-gateway.net. And as an add-on, if you run into a code like this, Renato actually uh, created a little Python script that allows you to automate the decode process for this particular type of obfuscation. And well then, a little bit as expected, we do have now a public exploit for CVE 2022-1388, the F5 big IP vulnerability that was patched late last week. And this exploit is now heavily used in order to target vulnerable systems. So far, we see a lot of reconnaissance, some backdoors, web shells uh, is what we have seen in even two instances of a destructive attempt that essentially just attempts to run rm-rf slash on affected systems. Now, with the exploit being released, we now also know a little bit more about the vulnerability. It's a kind of actually an interesting vulnerability. The root cause is something called hop by hop headers in HTTP. In HTTP, if you add the name of a header to the connection header, in this case, uh, that's the XF5 auth token header that's being added, then a proxy will not modify this particular header. It will just pass on its uh, content. And well, the XF5 auth token header is, as the name kind of implies, usually used for authentication. So by preventing the proxy, that's actually usually doing the authentication and verifying if this header is correct from actually doing its job. We can bypass authentication and directly connect to an API that's actually named bash. So uh, we are directly able to execute a bash commands using the API. What sort of puts the final nail into all of this is that the web server is running as root, which of course means that the sky's the limit as far as exploits go. I'll link in the show notes uh, to a Python script published by Horizon 3 AI. Uh, That's the group that initially uh, found the exploit here. And uh, also I tested that exploit and it works uh, just uh, fine. Remember to not just patch your big IP systems, but uh, make sure that uh, this API is not exposed to the world. I think it was last week uh, that I mentioned that Trend Micro had a false positive that triggered on a Microsoft Edge update. The file was called MSH 200% hack. And well, in addition to basically blocking uh, this update, it appears that Trend Micro also modified some registry settings. So if you were affected by this false positive, uh, take a look at Trend Micro's help page that walks you through restoring some of uh, the modified registry entries and in general, how to recover from this false positive. And then we have another issue with uh, tenant separation in Microsoft's Azure service, in particular in Microsoft Azure Synapse. According to a blog post by Orca Security, 
This service has had a number of problems that allowed researchers at Orca to access other tenants' uh, code and secrets as well as execute code. The vulnerability was first reported to Microsoft in January. Microsoft did apply some patches, but then again in March and April, Orca found additional vulnerabilities. While Microsoft has deployed updates uh, to Synapse, according to Orca, this is really more sort of a structural architecture issue with the service. And well, if you're using the service, then just check out Orca's blog for further details so you can make up your own mind about it. I'll also link to the Microsoft knowledge base articles about this particular issue. Well, that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.